Lights. Camera. What's up and welcome everyone, it's your boy Grambo2 back with another video. Today's a special one because I'll be doing something I never thought I'd be saying, and that's a raid from my location of choice, the toilet. Nah, just joking. I'm gonna say the couch. Or even the bed. The point is that remote raiding is officially in effect today, and as a trainer, this is your chance to stay home, social distance, isolate, and still catch Pokemon. So in the comments below, I want to hear about where your first remote raid was from. Be creative. Let's hear it. So with this video today, I'm going to give you a breakdown on how to access your remote pass, how to use it, and we'll be doing one remote raid featuring my boy Darkrai. Ooh. He'll be in raids from April 28th, which is today, to the May 5th. Before we get into it, from May 5th to May 12th, the altered form of Giratina will be in raids. I already made a video about how to catch that one right here. It was my first ever video, so it's a little rough, but it's out there, so check it out. So first things first, we're gonna find the remote raid pass. Uh, if you go to your shop, you can see that they added three passes for $1. If you don't have $1 spare, you basically need to reevaluate your life. Just joking. Bought it. You can also go down in your shop, and once you're through these three, you can rebuy them. So from here, you basically just click on a raid that is in your range. And you use your raid. And you use your pass to do the raid, and it's that simple. Boom. All right, looks like it's about that time. We're gonna dive right in here. Woo, got it. All right, now that we've beat it in the raid, I'll go over the best way to help you catch it. When I was out in April, I spent a lot of time trying to catch it and I did lose it several times. It moves around a lot and its charge attack is... You know. So, make sure you use your Golden Raz and either do a great or excellent circle and do a spin with a curve. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is learn the charge attack. And you do that by holding your thumb down. Don't throw the ball. And you'll see the red circle appear when you hold your thumb down. And when he does his charge attack, the circle disappears. And as it's settling back down, the circle reappears. So one more time. Does his charge attack. And as you can see, as he's settling back down and tilts, that's when you throw your ball. All right, so we're gonna catch this thing. Feed it the golden raz. Set the circle. And I usually wait till he's in the center and then he does his charge attack. Sometimes you gotta wait long. Here we go. Spin, curve. Okay, great. We could do better. We want that excellent. It's not gonna do it, nope. Okay, golden raz. Just gonna set that circle. He's hyped though. All right, I'm waiting for him to come to the center still. Come on. Boom, excellent, there we go. Can this do it? Booyah! All right, got it, cool. Woo! All right, I was gonna upload this video right now, but then I caught this. I believe that is a shiny. So we're gonna catch it with the golden raz. Set the circle. 
Nope. Setting for it. Always wait for him to center. All right, here we go. Excellent. Can it do it? Mmm. Shiny. Woo! All right, that's it. Pretty much retire. All right, everyone, that's it for catching Darkrai. Thanks for tuning in. For these raid bosses, it's pretty much the same, where you use a curveball with a spin and either a great or excellent circle. Uh, stay safe out there. Good luck catching it again. Tell your friends about the raid passes. And like I said, my name is Grambochu. Thank you for checking in. Check out my other videos. Like, subscribe. Till next time. Peace.